Hello guys, I'm Julia at LiveWealthyRetirement.com. Today we are going to continue learning how to create a website in WordPress. As I promised, I'll show you how to change and customize a WordPress theme. In the previous video, I showed you how to build a blog for free on the site Rubik's platform within Wealthy Affiliate. If you missed that, please refer to the video titled How to Build a Blog for Free on my YouTube channel. You can also find it in the How to Create a Free Website article on my blog. The link to it is provided in the description below this video. I hope you booked, bookmarked your Wealthy Affiliate page and can easily get back to it. If not, please use the link below this video to return to my blog post and click either on the banner Learn uh, Internet Marketing learn uh, more about Wealthy Affiliate on the right hand side or in the table of contents find 3.1 accessing your Wealthy Affiliate free starter account and WordPress back office. Click on it and use go to my sign up page again link. Click here. On this page instead of signing up again Click the login button. You may or may not be asked to enter your username and password. I wasn't. Now I am on the Wealthy Affiliate platform and this is my dashboard. To get back to your website, in the left hand side menu, click on websites and you should see your newly created blog under my recent websites. If you don't see it here, you can use Site Manager. Site Manager shows all the website that you've created and for now it's just one. So it should really be here. Click Login and then Login now again as an admin user. We are now in the WordPress back office. Let's take a look around. During the build process, some sample rubbish content was created for your website. Let's preview the site and see what it looks like. Find home icon in the left, in the top left uh, corner of the screen and click visit site. Here is my site as it looks now to my visitors if I had any, except this top menu that you see is only visible to me and only when I am logged in to my WordPress back office. So don't worry, nobody else will be able to see this menu and mess up your website design and its content. What we see here is my blog title, a default WordPress uh, tagline, just another WordPress site comes with every theme. Uh, widgets on the right, some pre-selected uh, widgets. Widgets are the blocks that stay on your website uh, visible no matter what page you are viewing. This home page uh, by, default, by default is set up as a blog roll. This means that as you publish more posts, the most recent ones will appear here uh, where we see Hello World post. That's the only post we currently have. The blog roll can contain text excerpt and an image, featured image. There is none now because Hello World doesn't have one set up. We'll add an image later in this presentation. Uh, and here we see the full text. It looks like that's all we have. It's very short. When you create a real post, only a few first sentences will be shown in the preview on the home page. A visitor will have to click on the post title in order to see the full post. Let's click on it anyway. Under this post, we see one sample comment. 
This is one of several ways and very effective one to interact with your audience. So encourage, uh, when you have real posts, encourage uh, your visitors to leave you a, a comment. Keep the sample content while choosing your theme. You can delete it after your theme is selected. I've chosen, uh, let me go back to homepage by clicking the title. I've chosen a very plain and simple theme, but don't be misled with the images in the theme pre presentation. I'll show you later what I mean. The images that you see in a thumbnails, um, thumbnail of a theme, either won't appear at all uh, when you change the theme or may show on your site, but their purpose is to serve as placeholders. You should replace default images with your own pictures appropriate to your niche. When choosing your theme, your main focus should be on feature, uh, features available for customization rather than uh, how pretty the theme looks in the preview. Therefore, before showing you how to change the theme, I want to show uh, what customization are available in my chosen theme and where to find them. So this uh, plain theme can actually look a little bit prettier and we'll make it happen. But first, let me uh, show you how to find that post and whatever else we, we might have uh, as a sample content in your back office. Let's go back to the back office. In that menu on top, select dashboard again, click on it. Okay, and now let's go to posts on the left hand side. Click on posts or all posts over here, doesn't matter. And here it is, our hello world post. Again, when I bring my mouse over, like I put to take it away and I bring it over, I see this menu, I can click edit or I can click, uh, simply click on the uh, title to edit the post. I, that's what I've done. So this is very short post and there is no images or featured images. While we are here, here let's set up a featured image. On your right hand side at the bottom, Find Featured Image, Set Featured Image Link. Click on it. Before recording this video, I played a little bit with this theme and uh, uploaded a couple of images uh, to show you customization later. Uh, but you won't have anything here. It will be empty. So click on the Upload Files tab select files, find whatever image you want, and I'll choose this one, and click open. So it's uploaded, and now we see it in the, in the media library tab. S click uh, set featured image uh, at the bottom here, and here is our image. We need to save it. We need to update the page. Click update here. Okay, we'll view uh, the site again just to see what it looks like on our ho home page now. But we, before we do that, let's see if we have any other sample content in there. Let's click on pages on the left hand side. And we have two pages here. One is sample page. Click on it. Here's uh, some sample text. Go back to pages. And another page is privacy policy. Having a privacy policy page on your website is a legal requirement. This uh, sample page came with the theme. You can uh, customize it for your own blog, use it as a basic. Or you can, uh, Wealthy Affiliate has uh, its own template and it's explained how to customize it for your blog in the uh, free lessons of uh, online 
entrepreneur certification course under the training menu on the uh, in your wealthy affiliate dashboard so you can either keep this page delete it and use wealthy affiliate uh, template and modify it customize it per uh, instructions in that lesson or you can uh, create completely different new page as you wish okay let's uh, see our website again and uh, how the featured image appears visit site and here it is so now we have only one post that's why we have only one image but when you uh, create more posts every post that appears on this page uh, will have its own featured image when you set it up so next i uh, will show you how to customize this theme and after that we'll uh, look how to change the theme there are several ways of accessing the theme customization workspace we are now previewing our website in this mode we can choose customize in the top menu if okay if we were on a dashboard you could choose customize your site button right here in the middle or you can could go to the menu appearance and customize all these options will bring you to the exactly same place while accessing customization workspace is the same for all themes the customization options are different per theme do you remember how I said uh, to not be misled by the promotional image of the theme and focus on how many and what uh, options you have uh, for customization? This is exactly what I meant. I've chosen the simple theme called X Simply because it has all the basic customization options which are usually available in all themes but your theme could have some extras. On this side, uh, site preview screen, we see three sections. The top one is site identity. The one on the right is widgets, and sometimes it could be at the bottom rather than uh, on the right. And this page is set as a block roll, so we see uh, post previews in the middle. Some themes display this little pencil icon, which is very convenient because you can click on this icon to modify each part of the block of the uh, page. So if I click here uh, on the icon by the title, I, sh I should be able to modify the title. If you don't have these uh, icons, you would have to go to the menu and expand the uh, click on the menu title and go to the next available options for modifications. Let's explore each item in this menu, or most of them. Let's start from the top, site identity. Here you can set the logo. Again, I played with this theme prior to recording the video, so I already have uploaded some sample image, images to save some time for this demonstration. You will not have them here, so you would have to first create your logo, upload it, and then select from the library. The room for the logo is defined by the theme, and some themes have a very small space for the logo. Uh, while others allow larger dimensions, uh, in some uh, in some themes you can choose the logo alignment left, middle, right, and in others you can't. I know that in my theme uh, there is a rectangular space for the logo, and there is no option 
to do your own alignment. So in my case, if I choose a square image for the logo, well, first of all, it prompts me to crop it, but it would make sense to crop it uh, in this shape. So I skip cropping and it's gonna be displayed on top in the middle. I can't move it to the left. If I could, it would look okay next to the uh, site title, but I can't. So let me change the logo and choose rectangular uh, image. Those images uh, are were pre-existing on my hard drive. I use them for other purposes. So it's not uh, created specifically for this demonstration. Don't pay attention to them. Okay, but this image looks much better in this theme. So next is a site title. Site title is set correctly. I don't need to touch it. The next one is a, a tagline. Let's modify it. You can completely remove it. See how, how it, it's gone here. Or you can modify it. I'll do just that. The help is on its way. Your tagline could either clarify the title of your site, motivate and inspire your visitors, or whatever else you wish to add in this short phrase. But it must be related to your website niche. Now, if your logo is self-contained, representing your brand on its own, you may want to display only logo and not the title and a tagline then you may want to tick off this little checkbox. See how it's gone. But I'll keep it. Okay, the next option is select site icon. Let me select another image. This time I'll choose this square one. Uh, here is what the site icon is. In your browser, in each tab, there is a small icon preceding the site name. By default, it's a grayscale uh, gray globe, but you may want to replace it with a specific image representing your brand. This image must be in a square shape and it will be shown very small, so it must be simple. See, this is a tab and the icon for your site. So this time I'm gonna crop the image because this size is very specific. Okay, we have our icon set. Let's look at the next option, colors. Colors customization option will be different from theme to theme. Uh, this particular theme has four uh, presets Light is a default. Now let's see what metal looks like. This is metal, sea, and night. Or you can, let's go back to the default. Or you can set your own header uh, text color and background color. The best practice for a content driven site is to keep background white and text color black or dark gray. This combination of colors is easiest to read. It works best for the human eyes and thus the most user-friendly. Remember and respect visitors with visual impairment and other disabilities. This color combination works best for them. But since I am showing you the options, let me show you how you can modify the text color, choose any you wish, and then you can uh, fi fine tune it by moving this cursor. Look at the, like I can uh, move it more to the red or to the blue side, leave it purp purple, and I can make it darker or lighter 
by using uh, by uh, moving this slider. And the background color. Again, you can select something first and then move to whatever tint you want and then make it lighter by moving down the slider. I will uh, reset everything to default because I like the default better. So the next option, the next option is header image. Again, you can select the image, add new image. I'll choose this uh, image, select and crop, skip cropping. Okay. In this theme, I wouldn't set both a logo and the header image. They don't look nice together. I'd rather keep one or the other. But for the sake uh, of this demo, let's set header image as well. Okay, now let's go back and look at the background image. Once again, I prefer white background, but I'm showing you how to set a background image. I choose this file this time, and again, you will have to upload it first. Choose image. Now our uh, background image is set and it's pre uh, default zero. Let me, I, I change the transparency to zero so that I can show you that default is um, like title, um, tile type. You can see the sticks here, like image image repeats itself. But I can change this to fill the screen, uh, for example. And uh, when I did that, my widgets moved to, to the bottom, see? From the right-hand side, they moved to the bottom. Set back. Transparency 2.7. Here, here are my widgets. You can see them better this way. But again, I am going to remove the image because I prefer to have white background and widgets on the right. All right. The next option is menus. Normally, you will create your menu separately in the back office after your website has some content. In the customization space, you will only assign a location to the already existing menus. This, <coughs> this theme has space for only one menu and it's at the top of the page. Some other themes may offer multiple locations. You may create several menus and place, for example, primary menu at the top, right here under the header image if you have one. And the secondary menu containing, let's say, all legal pages such as privacy policy, affiliate disclosure, and uh, data access request form in the footer. So this theme doesn't have an option to place a menu in the footer. But let's create a menu right from here, right now, with uh, whatever sample content we have. See, if I click View Location, and you already had a menu, you could ch select it here. But we don't have a menu, so let's create a menu. Let's call it Main Menu. Set Primary Location. Click Next. Add items and add the only existing items that uh, we have. Home, sample page, and under posts, we should have one more post. Hello world, world. Now click add items and here is our menu. Okay, so the next option, let's see what the next option is. Widgets. Widgets, we can remove some widgets and we can add some new ones and modify them. 
First, let me show you how to remove a, a widget. Recent comments. Let's remove that one. It's so simple. Remove. And it's gone. And let's add a widget. You can add calendar, you can add an image, some promotion, or whatever. Uh, let's add uh, about author image, widget, image and text. So I'll choose this text template. And let me show you what I mean uh, on my website. This is the author uh, widget that is using text template. So let's do something similar. I'll just show you how to do it. You can set title about the author, add media, and I don't have my portrait here. Let's pretend that this is my portrait. <laughs> okay. Do I look nice? Insert. And then you can say, welcome to my blog. I'm Julia. Done. Okay, here is my widget, my newly created widget. It's still working. See how it's dimmed. But I can, now I want to move it to the top or rather uh, under the search widget. So I'll, oops, I'll just place my mouse over, click and drag under the search. It's that easy. Okay, let's go back. And the last option that I want to talk about is home page settings. That's exactly where you will choose either blog role or static page. Your latest posts is a blog role. We have it now by default. If we change it to a static page, we have to have a page to set as a home page. And since we only have sample page, this is what it's going to look like. And then you will not have your latest posts display, uh, displayed here, and you will have to add them manually to the menu somewhere. Let's return to latest posts. So this is, I think this is it. So now if I click this cross, I will lose all my changes. So I have to publish in order to save them. Let's publish. It says publish, sorry, I'm still waiting for it to be published. And now I can close. And now I can view site. And here it is. This uh, tagline uh, moved to the right. I assume that this is because, remember how I didn't crop uh, the header image? So it's probably taking more space than it should. But that's okay for now. So that's it. This is how you customize your theme. And uh, next I will show you how to change the theme. In order to, to change the theme from this uh, site view mode, go to customize menu at the top again. And here you see active, my active theme X simply and the change button right next to it. Click this button. And now we see uh, the selection of pre-installed themes. You can choose any one of these and click live preview. Let's select 2017 and see what our existing content looks like with this new design. Okay, let's explore this theme a little bit. First, let's find uh, all the customization options that I showed you earlier in this video. Here is site 
identity, colors, header media sounds a bit different than in X simply theme. We'll get back to it. Menus, widgets, and home page settings. What I don't like about this theme is this huge uh, image that is occupying the whole screen. Even though the image itself is pretty, for the content-driven sites, we want our visitors to see the content right away. This theme requires an extra step, which is not even obvious. The visitor will have to scroll down in order to see what posts we have on this site. This is an extra step, and I would prefer to avoid it. Other than that, this theme looks good to me. We have everything we had before. Our title, tagline, here is the menu, here is our customized uh, widget, and we even have an extra one which we can keep or remove. And here is our post with, with its featured image. So the theme looks nice, except for the size of this image, to me at least. If you like this design, you can activate and publish, but before you do that, you need to change your image to something that is relevant to your niche and appropriate for your website. In order to do that, you can click uh, on the pencil icon, or this is where we go to see what's in header media and why it's called media. You will find the, this image there as well. Here is the image, you can hide it and add a new one. But there is another option. You can actually have a video in your header. You can upload your own video from your hard drive, but I don't recommend doing so because video files are uh, heavier and larger than images and it will slow down your loading uh, speed for the website. We don't want that. We want our website to load fast. So the other option uh, to add the video is to reference it from YouTube. So you could create your own video, upload it to YouTube first, and then reference it from here, or find an existing video on YouTube and just reference it. So this is my video on YouTube, and this is what it looks like. So, okay, if you like it, activate and publish. I don't like this theme. I am going to show you something else, so I'm going to close out without saving. Let's go to the dashboard again. You can access the same selection of uh, pre-installed themes from Appearance menu and then Themes. Here are our installed themes. If you don't see any theme that you like within this selection, you can actually add new. Here is the button at the top. Click on it, add new. And you'll have a larger selection that you can install. So those themes that are already installed are labeled with this greenish color, light green color, and it says installed, check mark, and you can live preview them. But those that are not installed yet, you can't preview with your content. You need to install them first. This preview will just give you general information about the theme. You have to install it first in order to preview with your uh, content. So I am a premium member at Wealthy Affiliate and my selection of free themes is over 3000. As a starter member, you will have a smaller selection, fewer choices, but still there should be more than enough for you to choose from. So this featured tab has a limited set, but if I go to popular, I can scroll down pretty much endlessly. See how many I have here. So, but let's select and install one just for the sake of this demonstration. So let's do this one, Astra. Click install and 
see how this button will change to live preview after it's installed. Here is live preview. Let's click and see what our content looks like with this design. So this theme has more options. I can tell they are a bit different. And see here, more options available, even more options uh, are available in Astra Pro version. The pro version you would have to buy. This is what we get for free. So I don't see site identity here, but if I click header, it's under header. Here is my site identity. And this is some uh, cool feature. I can modify the size of the logo. I can make it smaller or bigger. And my title is in line with the logo. I can display it, uh, display it in line, see the stick box, or uncheck it and have it in two lines. So this bigger logo looks better if we display two lines, and if we do in line, we may want to decrease the size of the logo, and even this square image would look nice as a logo. Okay, so this, theme seems a bit more comp complicated and I like to keep things simple. So I'm going to change it again. Let's go back to the ones that are installed and select primer now. So once again, this is a nice and simple theme. I like this continue reading button under the post. So it makes it obvious that this is not the whole thing. Each post that is displayed here will have its own continue reading button. We have nice uh, white light background, dark headers. Here is our modify, uh, customized widget title, tagline, menu, all looks nice, except it seems like this um, featured image of the post is displayed in a header space. I personally don't like it at all. So let's see if we can change that. See, we have header media again here. So maybe we have a option to to have a video in the header and yes we do again you can reference it from youtube and this is a better choice but we also have header and it seems like this is current header and set but we don't see it i can try to set my own header we still can't see it so why is that do you see this uh, checkbox? Use featured image. That's why. Let's uncheck it. And now we see my image, or you can choose the one that was installed with the theme. So it, it looks pretty nice. I like the theme a lot, actually. And I'm going to activate it and publish. So now let's get out of here and view our site. I like the way it, it, it looks now. And I left default image, but again, you should have it uh, rel relative to your uh, niche. All right. Um, you can switch themes even when you are further down in your website development. When you, uh, when you have already created some actual content. As you've seen, you could lose certain design components and even some content, especially if something goes wrong during the process of changing themes. If you decide to change a theme later, I strongly recommend to back up your website first. Wealthy Affiliate backs up um, your site daily, but if you rely on, on wealthy affiliate back, backup, you may lose 
uh, some work that you've done in the hours after the last backup. Okay, let's go back to the dashboard. And the last thing I want to show you. We are back to our themes. Themes are active components. The active components serve as entrance point for the spammers and hackers. The fewer active components you have installed, the safer you are. So everything that you don't need, you want to delete. Let me show you how to delete this theme, that Astra theme that I just installed. I click theme details. And here in, in the uh, bottom right corner, you'll see the lead button. Click the lead. Okay. And here we go. The theme is gone. So that's basically it for this demonstration. And I'll talk to you soon in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.